Hello everyone and welcome to Tech Upskill Channel. In today's video, we'll tackle the issue of the blue screen error with the message Inaccessible Boot Device. By following the steps outlined, you should be able to resolve this problem. Now let's dive in. To fix this error, you'll need a Windows installation USB flash drive. The process is straightforward. Check out the video I made earlier on, how to create a Windows installation USB flash drive. You can find it by clicking the I icon in the top right corner. After booting from the USB flash drive, you'll enter the Windows installation page. Choose the Repair Your Computer option. Then select Troubleshoot, followed by Advanced Options, and finally Command Prompt. All the commands will be listed in the video description. Once in the command prompt, type disk part and press enter. Then type list disk to display the available disks. In most cases, disk zero is the system disk. Select it by typing select disk zero and press enter. Next, Type list volume to show the partitions on the disk. Identify the EFI partition, which is typically around 100 megabytes with a FAT32 file system. In this example, it's listed as volume 3. Select it by typing cell volume 3. Assign a letter to the selected volume using the command assign letter equals V. Exit the disk part utility by typing exit. Access the newly assigned drive by typing V. Next, format the partition using the command format versus FS, FAT32. Confirm the action by selecting yes when prompted. Then, write the command BCD boot C Windows SV, SV, UEFI. Finally, Close the command prompt. Press continue, and the problem should be resolved, allowing your system to start normally. I hope this video helped you solve the issue. Don't forget to support the video by liking and sharing it. As always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.